All right, guys, Mysterious Granny here. I'm at Forest Road Cemetery in Lancaster, Ohio. Let's go see if we can find Paul David Graff's, um, Paul David Graff's, um, plot, headstone. Now, he was born in Lancaster, Ohio. April 16th, 1950, I think, 51, or 50, and he died April 7th, uh, 2001, I'm pretty sure. But first, I want to check out this creepy... Creepy um, crypt. Sorry about the wind, guys. Hollow ground. Sound like I heard some somebody. I did see a co uh, one person, maybe. Yeah, I think it was one person in here. Oh, there's a car down there. That's probably who I heard. Check out this creepy, creepy crypt. It's creepy because it hasn't been used in a while. And it's nasty in there. Look at all the leaves and stuff. It's got 35, 1935, 1945, 1992 is the last time it was used. And there's still plenty of room for those this family, extended family to be buried in. It's creepy. Check us out. This goes on top of it. There's actually somebody buried on top of the crypt. Well, maybe not. That has nothing on it unless it's well wore off. <laughs> Excuse me. We're going to find him. Find his plot. So I found him three years ago. I can find him again. This is pretty neat right here. How they got the steps going up there. It's the big... I don't know if that's a Masonic sign on that or not.
Nelsonville blocks. Some old brick. Was saw. Never heard of Miss Was saw. Oh, I want to show you this too. It's like they. This used to be divided by a fence. And they took a couple other cemeteries from around town and brought them over here to this cemetery. But look, I don't understand what they did because you have a headstone right here, right? Then you got one right there facing the same direction. One right there facing the same direction. One right there facing the same direction. So what are they doing? What did they do? Did they leave the bodies behind when they moved to cemeteries? Or did they bring the bodies and bury them on top of the other ones? That's creepy. I wouldn't recommend this cemetery to nobody. I mean nobody. Trying to see the time. I can't see the time on this. I know he's buried by the road. I just don't recall exactly. I kind of do, but it's been three years. All right, we're looking for Paul David Graff. He played Tackleberry in Police Academy. God, I loved his character. He was so intense, it was so funny. He was so funny. I think I might have found it, guys. Had started a video earlier um, on the other end of the cemetery, and my radio was on. So I had to stop, had to delete it. It was on like right at the end of the video, too, over that, over in the other section. Well, I was going to pause it. I forgot to pause it before I got in the car. There's a graph there. There we go. Paul David Graff. Tackleberry. April 16, 1950 through April 7, 2001. Lo beloved husband and father. And look. They have a little policeman there to represent him. That is awesome. Very awesome. So guys, there we go. We found Paul David Graff's uh, headstone and barrel spot. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but it took me a long time to find him. 
again, it's just awful. But I found him. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Another crypt over there. Another crypt right there. Right, right there. It ain't creepy looking like the other one was. Sorry about the wind, guys. Yeah, it is in cemeteries. Hollow ground, more windy. Or windier, should I say, whatever. More wind in the cemeteries. Ouch. All right, guys. So we found him. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this mysterious granny. Welcome to our world, friends. I'm out of here. Peace out.